Hello, welcome to another episode of Wheels World. This time I'm on the run. I'm on the Vanguard Way, a 66 mile trail from Croydon in London down to New Haven on the southeast coast of England. I'm trying to run it in two days, so that's about 33 miles a day. So I've just set off from Croydon and all of a sudden I'm in lovely green space, Very, really surprising. I was expecting to be on tarmac for quite some time, but straight onto the trails, which is really nice. It's a very good time of year to be out running. New Haven Harbour, 62 and a half miles. East Croydon, three and a half miles. I swear I've run further than three and a half miles. I've got a long way to go. What do you think? Not bad. Now, which one to start with? Hello. <laughs> right, just hit 40k. Going all right. Still need to put a bit more of a shift in today to hit about 35 miles. But got plenty of daylight left, so should be all right. My legs feel all right. Let's see how we go. Yeah, the trail's been really easy to follow. Excellent way marking. Loads of signposting. Had to get my phone out to navigate with Kamut a few times, but it's all been really straightforward. What I've really loved is the, the scenery and the landscapes. Bug Hotel. Interesting. Still going. Must be on about 55 kilometers now. It's not a bad time to be out running. Right, I think, I think this is it. Gonna put my tent up here. It is on the edge of a golf course. So probably gonna have to be up quite early tomorrow morning. <sighs> Big day though. Did about 60 kilometers. Um, feeling all right. Bit knackered, but Oh, I got something to soothe my joints. I've left the bloody poles at home. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but it's not a bad effort. I'm just lucky there's no wind. A bit of wind and that's going down. I might be miserable in the morning. Wish me luck. Not a bad morning. And I'm feeling good today. I can get I can get the miles in. Get down to New Haven, round this thing up. Big old lung buster to start the day. Half six in the morning. 200, all 204 meters of Gill's lap or Jill's lap. I'm going with Gill's, I think. Here we go. 204 meters conquered. <laughs> All downhill from here. That's what they say, isn't it? Should have camped up here last night instead of on the edge of a bloody golf course. It's awesome up here. So this is Ashdown Forest. Look at this. Home of Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. And Piglet, of course. Right, I thought I'd just take a quick second just to talk you through the 
pack I've been using here. So it is the Six Moon Designs Flight 30 and it has been absolutely awesome. I'm not sure of the weight, I'll stick it on the screen, uh, but it is super light. And what I love about it is that it kind of, it can change with your journey. So it's obviously got the expanding capacity. So if you need extra supplies or if you get through your supplies, you can adapt the bag to suit your journey. And then also, it's got the volume, it's got um, the strap adjustment, so fit, you can tweak the fit really precisely. And I, found that re I find that really useful for long runs or long walks because you tend to go from kind of like being bloated after basically carb loading to a couple of hours later being super, super skinny and dehydrated. And you need to be constantly tweaking the pack. And this pack has all that kind of ability for tweaking. I've got a bit of an announcement to make. So around about mid-July, I'm gonna be setting off to try and run all of Wales' mountains in one uh, self-supported journey. Um, should be about 500 miles, take about three weeks, 190 mountains to get up and over. Am I gonna fast pack it like this? And that's uh, basically why I'm doing this trail, why I'm running the Vanguard Way. It's training for that massive challenge I've got ahead of me. I'm fundraising for Mind Over Mountains on the journey. If you want to support me, I've stuck the Just Giving link down below in, in the uh, description. It would be much appreciated if you could donate. Now, if you're an avid watcher of World's World, you might have seen the episode where I um, I conducted a test to find the grippiest trail running shoes. And the shoes that I picked as the winner, the La Sportiva Mutants, which I'm wearing for this challenge. And I have to say, I continue to be impressed by them. I might even say they're the best trail running shoes I've ever run in. If you didn't catch that episode, stick a link for that up there. Might be up there, I think it's up there. They're also currently available in the Webtog store, by the way. Go and check them out. They're so, so good. I'm gonna have to stop here, aren't I? So like most long distance trails in the UK, the Vanguard Way is broken down stage by stage on the Commute app. So I've been using it to navigate along the trail and also just follow my progress. So it's showing me the distance I've traveled, the distance I've got left, what I've got up ahead. There's also descriptions of each stage as well. Into the South Downs now. Last 10K, I reckon. This is where it starts to get hilly. And I should see the coast soon. Should be quite nice. Final push now. Look at that, pretty spectacular. What a way to round off two days of running. Love this trail. Really, really, really recommend the Vanguard Way. It's been awesome. Right, that's it. The end of my adventure. 66 miles from East Croydon to New Haven on the Vanguard Way. And I've absolutely loved it. Hope you've enjoyed following me. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oh, 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 oh. 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 I'll tell you how good that feels. Oh.